promised to bring you back to Furnace Clans when something interesting happened, and lo and behold, something interesting happened. I've got some peregrine falcon man corpses and falcon woman corpses coming in. Somehow or another, they managed to bypass the system here. My guess is they flew around it or something of that nature. In here, it's only one high, in theory. So they would have been forced to walk, but they could have flown around here and then dumped around that way, rather than actually going on the walking path. I made it a look into trying to do with that issue. Theoretically, a wall here and a wall here would force them to walk some of the path. So I'll need to come back and deal with that at some point. But they've passed in. We're going to need to call up the military squads. Now, one thing you may notice, I've taken the dogs out of here. Um, one of the winters, I had two dogs die of old age, and it almost became a very bad mess. I've started butchering my dogs. They're bo all of them are currently trapped in cages right next to the butchery and tanning, which is necessary uh, because I needed some leather for strange moods, and when we hold Andrew Khan, it just had one. Uh, he created me a legendary hatch cover, but I need to get the military down here because we need to kill some peregrine. Squad C, kill. I'm going to start with killing that. Squad C, kill. I'll kill that one, and we'll make sure that you're already set for dump. Squad C, kill. Where's that other peregrine? Where do you get off to? I know I just saw him. Oh, I've got them. They're overlapping on me. So we've killed off all three. And I want to double check that nobody's about to have a heart attack on me. All right, you're still ecstatic. You're ecstatic. You're ecstatic. All right, so we're good for now. Come on, boys, I need you to dump these corpses. I almost wish I could butcher... Ah, crap. Send the squad back down to kill these guys. Come on, guys. I need you to dump these things. Alright. Come on! Somebody was dumping something. I don't know where it went. So the dump pit's right up over here. And it's not that far. Whoops, looks like we had to kill this peregrine again. Nope, okay. Come on, dump the corpse. There we go, one more down. There's lava in the bottom of that drop hole, so these guys won't regen on me. Come on, somebody dump this item. Where are you? Okay, I went to that minor emergency dealt with. Go double check that I've got a cart in the system still. Yeah, okay, it's still moving. Yeah, I'll have to build walls um, around this point to make sure that they can't flutter around and that they're forced at least through that area if no other point. And they could still probably avoid it, but 
There's only so much I can do about it. It's just one of those things that will have to be dealt with. Now, I pr promised you I'd show you how this system worked, so I might as well go do that as well. I'm still digging out portions of it because um, I need to reach up into this area up here, which I don't have yet. But the main area down this way is dealt with. I don't know why there's a wheelbarrow there. So let's find, figure out where we want to go to uh, drop some boulders on. So here we have, well, only one there. As you can see, I've got a number of corpses down here, um, just for sheer amusement factor. Uh, 113 enemies, and on each page, I'd say half are on fire. That's how many are sitting inside the magma pit at this point. Um, okay, they're upstairs. So what we're going to do, all right, let's try that again. So we look for the first place of smoke, which is here. Astruk. We come up. Okay, I want this one. So I'm going to pull that lever, which is attached to that bridge. And I'm going to make sure I've got a dump point near here. Make that a garbage dump. Now the only trouble with these holes is these children like to walk around on them and get themselves in trouble and fall through and all sorts of bad. I just saw somebody announcing that they couldn't pick stuff up. Everything should be forbidden out there, so I'm not sure what he was trying to get. So we're just waiting on somebody to come pull the lever. Oh, there you are. Once we get the lever pulled, it's pretty simplistic. Yeah, all of that magma, all those reports, they're screwing up my announcements, they're screwing up my reports, everything. It's just inundating the log file. So I can't even see half of my announcements if I don't catch it going by on the bottom. There's something out there that's not forbidden. I'm going to make sure that everything there is forbidden so that they stop complaining at me. Make sure none of these other dumps are active. You're active. Yep, okay. You know, children who can accidentally fall down the hole. That's always a good thing. So once he pulls the lever, we now have a hole directly over our target. I'm just going to confirm that. Yep, there's one of our targets. So, we come over here, we grab a block, and we dump it. Somebody should get the dump item order. Oh, when they do, I'll bring you right back. There's our dump item order. He'll grab himself a block. And throw it down the hole. Now you'll notice, even though that was at an angle, he still pitched it into the hole. Oh, we got smoke, but our struck didn't get hit by it. Oh, no, he did. Just, I beat the rock down. <laughs> Whoops. So, that got rid of him. He immediately caught fire in the magma, destroyed the body. Now we can seal that hole back up, and we can repeat the process somewhere. Well, it's probably just one further up. So that's really it. This is just the bombing corridor. And we're just going to slowly but surely clean the crap out of the magma so that I can start getting reports again without having all sorts of problems. Yay, we have an announcement. Fishy Bang, our second oldest child. The first one died due to a hazard accident during the building of the OMG has grown to be 12 years old. He's finally an adult and ready to take on duties in the fort. Our first adult has grown up. Happy birthday to... Oh, enough of that. We've got a couple of concerns. The first problem, and Sarvis just got killed. We're hoping for a dump on that in the very near future. Uh, I need to remove some designations, because we need to get these in stones engraved. So I just got killed by a ghost, and we didn't, we're not building out slabs fast enough. 
Uh, I've got five, uh, six of them waiting to be created. So Fishy Bang joining the fort now that he's 12 years old. Um, well, he's going to end up replacing Sarvesh. I'm going to end up turning everybody on for engraving for the moment. Hopefully we can get some slabs built. And we need to clean out that corpse. The other thing I need to do is I've still got an active dump site over here, and I don't want them dumping bodies on top of the plates that cover the bombing holes so I can clear guys out of the lava pit. Um, of interest, I finally cleared out everything down here in the lava, so that's helped with my FPS tremendously. I'm back up to about 80 FPS, so that helps nicely. Okay, so while I'm pause, I need somebody to go dump that body in quickly. Okay. We've got to get rid of these ghosts in quickly. What you're seeing here is I'm building out a bedroom complex. Whoops, I missed one. Uh, what I'm going to do is make it semi-private bedrooms. It's a trick I use for when I'm worried about vampires coming in in the migrants. And what it does is they share the bed space, but they have private storage, which will help keep things cleared out. Okay, one of my children just went to withdraw from society, and I got a party at the table. Okay, are we engraving yet? Which craft dwarfs? Oh, the one down at the bottom. Okay, that's fine. Off you go, Fath. Losing Sarbish is going to be a big deal. She was our master engraver. She had a couple other skills that we counted on. I'm going to have to fill in the dots here eventually. Why is nobody going to do... Get me some engraving. There we go. Edge is going. I just lost another child. Oh, well, now that needs to be dumped. Anybody going to dump it? Not yet. Come on, somebody dump the damn body. Everybody just walks over the corpse. Now, well, one of the slabs got engraved, so we'll drop that here. Well, we're going to have to build one of Sarvish, too, on now, aren't we? Add slab Sarvish. Why is nobody going to dump this? I haven't set up any of the bedrooms yet, so they're still trying to store stuff down here in the main dorm. Come on already, you louts. Dump that body. I really wish dumping took a higher priority. What just happened? Oh, okay. Put one of the ghosts to, de uh, to rest. You're cleaning? Oh, okay. Alright, Fath got all of his materials. He's happy. Okay, here we go. There's the body dump. And there we go. Okay, that gets rid of those. I think I saw another slab being built. Let me double check. Yep, there's Nagulu, or whatever his name is. I'm going to need to find a new place to put memorials. We've filled up the hospital, the run to the hospital, and all of this floor. Yeah, well, I'll just stick them in the little hallways here for now. Let's see. Oh, uh, we did end up with another artifact. I don't know if I showed you this. Uh, Dot Velvets is a marble coffin. I figure when I get the king here, that'll be helpful. Oh, something just got beaten up down in the uh, minecart run. Sweet. All right. Okay, so he's built that one up. So I'm going to have to slab these up a bit, try and get rid of these ghosts, get rid of our 
Let me just double check that we don't have any tantrum spirals prepping. Um, we've got a 90, a 101, 122, 94. Yeah, this could get dangerous soon. A tunnel tube toy boat. Great. That's utterly useful. Let's see. Anything interesting on it? Eh, let's see. Yeah, okay. It menaces and has things hanging off of it. Um, it's got a picture of itself on it in magnetite. That's neat. And some dwarf getting killed by the dragon. Luxurious furnace of diamond. Oh, I'm sorry. Amai sweltered parched. The luxurious furnace of diamond. Oh, back in 369. Oh, well. I think we got another slab up. Yep. Let's see if we can't get rid of these damn ghosts. All right, put another one to rest. Uh, I think we're going to have to... Where's the child who died? Zolben. So, we'll create another one for him. This one's just hanging out right in the dining hall. Everybody's got to walk past him getting annoyed. What was his name? Ushat. Ushat. Ushat, where are you? New shot may get fixed. Yeah, new shot's not on my list of people I can take care of. Yeah, he doesn't even have one made for him. All right, so we've got to go fix that actually. So to do that, we head over to DF Hack, um, tweak, fix ghostly. Tweak, fix dimensions, fast trade. Tweak, clear ghostly. There. See, what happens is the caravan guards can't be engraved, so that's the only way to get rid of them. And I refuse to pay for a bug. I've got enough problems right now. There's Rovans. Looks like Sarvesh has just got made. Sarvesh is going to go right here out in the main hallway. Just waiting on that last slab. There we go. All right. That's our slabs. So that should clear out all of our ghostly problems, I hope. Oh, come on. I got another raven in here? God bless it. Where is it? Okay. Um. Somebody shot it with an iron bolt. Oh, that works. Okay, the Raven Man has beaten the crap out of one of my children. Okay. Looks like the Raven Corpse got itself killed. Where is this? Oh, this is down in the path. How did, how did he get up here? Okay, something's gone horribly wrong. That door's closed. I don't 
don't, they shouldn't be able to path in through there. Must have just been a fight on the stairway. Oops. I want to report, look at this, go to the top, and zoom to the start. Okay. It's fight started up on the surface. It first engaged a child right here on the stairs. So yeah, it probably slipped in through down here. All right, that's getting old. I'm gonna need to do something about that. Now I need to go through everything here and find out if anything on this uh, ramp can stand up or if I can finally clear it out. Uh, open the maintenance hatchways and get this cleaned up some. But we're gonna have to come back to that. Uh, I need to go find out what's happening with that child. Everybody's got recover wounded on, right? Yep, okay. Well, Fishy doesn't. Okay, we need Master Engravers again, so we're going to let Fishy take care of that. I'm going to start smoothing the stone up here again. Anybody dumping that? Not yet. Where's that corpse? Oh, I guess it was already dumped. Alright. It's nice to see. Now, I have a wounded child somewhere. I wish there was an easier way to figure out which... Oh, Irvod. There we go. Uh, where is Irvod? Irvod's drinking. Irvod has been attacked by the dead lately. He's content. He took joy in slaughter, so I guess he killed it. He's admired a couple of things, and... Well... He's almost unwounded. I think I know who our first militia person is going to end up being. Alright, so I wanted to show you how I create these semi-private rooms. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the first door, and we're going to set it as internal. Now we're going to take this bed, we're going to make a bedroom, and spend it all the way out. And you'll notice it cuts into this room, but none of the other back rooms. Simple enough. Create the bedroom. Uh, not going to assign it as anything. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set that back to an external door, and now set this to internal. Actually, I need to put another bed in there. Uh, so we'll set this one to internal. We'll make this one as a bedroom, and you'll notice he gets his own private space back here, but they're all covering the same bedroom. So that's what I'll be doing with that. They'll all have their different bedrooms, um, but they'll be sharing the space. That will sh hopefully improve some contentment, get everybody out of the dormitories for a while, and hopefully I can keep this litter that's just annoying the crap out of me down because they're all sharing containers. So we'll see how that works out. I will bring you back when the next interesting thing happens, or I get involved with another raven invasion. Um, that's the th second time I've gotten ravens in here. I definitely need to get some anti-flyer going down in the grinder. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, I suppose it's only fair to end this video with watching a couple more migrants die off as they attempt to come in. So, some migrants showed up. And we've already lost the beekeeper. Uh, they're up on the surface. Our pathing is kind of slow right now. I'm hoping actually the migrants will drag them into the minecart area. I've got an idea for an escape hatch down at the minecarts for my dwarfs using trapdoors and the like and a meeting room uh, around a corner so that they're not constantly haunted by the undead until I can let them in. But with a trapdoor and a plate that only activates to enemy critters, I should be able to give them a way in near the grinder entry. We'll see how that works out eventually. In the meanwhile, well, these poor souls are going to die. So, because we've already had some problems with ghosts, we're going to start carving ourselves up some slabs immediately. There's Nish. And there's Tulan. Uh, I'll go 
some reports. The Fisher Dwarf. Yep, yeah, okay, there's her Fisher Dwarf dying. These poor guys are getting ran all over the surface by a couple of undead ravens and the like. Haven't had a path through in a while. There went another one. Um, the animal trainer went down. I'm just trying to remember which keys do what. Uh, well, he hasn't even come up yet for engraving. Alright, well, we'll give that a few. What are my guys doing? Edge is digging. Oh, that's right. I am creating a storeroom here. I forget what for at this point, but I figured I'd drill it out. I forget what I was going to stick down in here, but not all that important at the moment. Our cart's still going down here. I haven't closed up the system yet to put in the walls. Um, oh, okay, somebody on the surface is getting attacked by ravens. This was expected. And they're dead. So, we've got Tulan and Nish. Now nil. And that's three of them. I'm missing people. Well, we're probably going to end up with ghosts. For those curious, I've got 80 undead right now. And apparently because of the size of my map, they're not actually passing from the very eastern edge of my map to come over to the grinder from over here. So I've got a large mob up in here this area here. They're not pathing over to me. They're not pathing over to the grinder entry. So I think it has to do with the distance. Um, I need to re-forbid the surface. There, that should take care of most of that. So I stopped getting cancellation spam. Alright, Cyril got himself killed. Kato got himself killed. I don't see them in my list yet. Boy. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, okay, I only see those three so far. So, we're going to have to wait for those slabs to engrave. So, that was that migrant wave. Other than that, we're operating. Um, we're starting to recover from the loss of Sarvesh. I'm going to seal up the grinder here. I'm going to open it up. Well, I'm going to seal it off. I'm going to find out if I get any more combat reports from it for a little bit. As long as everything's been dis... Oof, something just got wailed. Oh, no. He survived passing. There he goes. He just got wrecked. So the idea is... I'll close it up, see if I get any combat reports. If I don't get any combat reports, that means everything up in here has finally permadied. I'll get the system cleared out. I'll get some walls in place to help protect from flyers. I'll see if I can do something about creating a migrant entry. I'm not sure about how I want to do that yet, but we're going to find out how that works. Oh, there we go. Missing for a week reports are starting to come in. I can get those last slabs put together. And that's basically going to be it. So, I will bring you guys back here to Furnace Glance as soon as some more interesting bits happen, or I plot and plan a couple of new and interesting design components. But for the moment, we're just going to operate under the assumption that the undead still on the surface. I have 17 forgotten beasts out there. The majority are down in the caverns. We have generally the fort set up for continuous operation. We're good for a while. Now we need to finish clearing the surface, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to be able to path in those undead that don't want to come talk to me. Oh, there's also two necromancers that are guiding them, which is part of the problem. So, I'll have to wait and see what happens there. I will see you guys in the near future. Thanks for watching.